Hi, I'm Frank Clegg. I spent a significant portion of my career in the technology industry as president of Microsoft Canada. I'm deeply concerned how my industry continues to misinform Canadians about the health hazards from radio frequency radiation from cell tower antennas. For example, recently a president of Rogers Communications at a press conference said. But the, um, the skepticism or concern is very ill-placed, honestly. Uh, we've been uh, offering cell services now for 35 years, and there is an enormous amount of research that surrounds it, uh, quite conclusively stating that it's safe. That is simply not true. There is not enough scientific data to even assess the safety of wireless 5G technologies at this time. In fact, there is zero evidence in the peer-reviewed published research that long-term exposure to wireless 5G is safe. But Rogers wants to roll out 5G and his executive, Dean Provost, is saying there is no harm to human health. And essentially what we're using here are the same radios, waves that we've all been using for historically television services, AM and FM radio. And that's what we use to carry the signals. Again, not true. They are not the same. TV and radio towers broadcast only a few channels and are usually kilometers away from us. Cellular antenna transmit and receive data to and from thousands of devices. In fact, 5G network antennas must be even closer to our homes, schools, and places of work. Some within 15 meters of our homes. Residents have no control and are not notified if an antenna is being placed outside their bedroom window. 5G also uses 2G, 3G, 4G, and LTE frequencies. We know from scientific evidence and hundreds of high quality peer reviewed studies that these can cause harm, including cancer. Well, good afternoon. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us this afternoon. Many scientists, including myself, now believe that the evidence is such that if IARC, the International Agency for Research on Cancer, were to reevaluate radio frequency radiation, it would be placed in class one, i.e. a human carcinogen. And governments could not possibly ignore that. But Rogers seems oblivious to the harm its massive rollout of towers and small cell antennas is about to cause. Children are particularly vulnerable. So while I understand the concerns, the facts and the science are quite clear. This is safe and it's extraordinarily beneficial to the way that we live, the way that we work, and the way that we go to school and creates a safe uh, connectivity for us that is, is needed. So we'll do it with all of that in mind as we deploy, but the residents of uh, Eastern Ontario can sleep at night knowing this is a very, very safe thing that we do. I want to believe, Mr. Prevo, that you haven't been adequately briefed and are simply ignorant of what scientists have been reporting for decades about the harm from cell antenna emissions and exposures. It's alarming for me to hear your confidence when you make these false statements about safety. I challenge you, Mr. Prevo, show me your proof. Show me the actual scientific evidence in the peer reviewed literature that the radiation emitted by 5G cell tower antennas is safe to Canadians. We have the scientific evidence that shows pre 5G, 2, 3, 4G, and LTE are not safe. 5G technologies use these and more. So, Mr. Prevo, the opportunity for Rogers is to do as you say and to provide a service that is safe. Canadians need fiber optic cable to the premises for fast, high bandwidth, secure, reliable, resilient, and more climate-friendly telecommunications. <laughs>